Our Refined Reads Book Club just gets bigger and better, and we want you to be a part of it. Last month, Refined viewers were riveted to the mystery swimming lessons. We couldn't wait for everyone to finish so we could get together to talk about it. Here's our latest Refined Read soiree. Welcome to our March Book Club discussion. <laughs> <laughs> we found the perfect spot to gather at Room and Board in New Village. Once our readers arrived, they wasted no time jumping right into the discussion. Before we kick off, I want to introduce the newest member of our book club, Terry Tazioli. He is a longtime Seattle journalist and our expert from the University Bookstore. And in fact, it was Terry who chose this book for us. And one of the things we talk about at the bookstore a lot is sort of what does this book offer in terms, what does a book offer in terms of the sense of place, the characters, the writing, the story, all of those things, and boy, for me, this one, she just nailed it. Swimming Lessons is a book about Ingrid, a wife and mother who mysteriously vanishes, but not before leaving behind a series of hidden letters to her husband, Gil, detailing the disintegration of their marriage. The other thing that I liked that the, that the author gives Gil, you know, that guy to say, <laughs> was once the author finishes that book, you know, once it's done, the book is closed, if you remember this, it doesn't belong to the author anymore. It belongs to us. So now it's our book to interpret the way we want to interpret it. And boy, did this group have strong opinions on the characters, especially the mysterious Ingrid and unfaithful Gil. Do you think Ingrid's still alive? Like, you know, please. I don't yeah. care. You don't <laughs> care? You don't? Okay, so tell me why. Why don't you care? Because she wrote the book and it's mine. And I don't need to, uh, I mean, I just don't care what she thought. It's not going to change yeah. how, what I thought yeah. about the book. I hope she's not alive, because if she did, she abandoned those yeah. kids. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like the first couple chapters, like, you think Gil's like a, maybe a little bit weird, but not that bad. And then you hit like about the halfway mark and it's like every new page is a new horrible thing Gil's done. The author does a good job explaining that Gil is so charming and that everybody that meets him falls under this spell. This is the kind of book where it's, I respect the author because those were not necessarily likable characters. Yeah. And she had to make us like them even though they had a lot of faults. Who do you guys think the protagonist of the book? was. Oh my gosh. That's a really good I wanted it to be Ingrid. I wanted to hear more yeah. about yeah. Ingrid, but it kept pulling to Gil. Fortunately, we were able to Skype in with author Claire Fuller, who answered some of our burning questions and shared her inside perspective on Gil, his daughter Flora, and first and foremost, Ingrid. Uh, I think she's, she's the main character, the driving force behind the novel. But Flora's really important too. But the odd thing is, even though I tried to write Gil out of this story and I wanted it to be from these two women, he is somehow still this kind of central figure that they revolve around. It's just how it happened. I started going deep into like, you know, you know, feminism and all this stuff, because, you know, you have Gil, not the best human being, but then I found myself blaming Ingrid more. Yeah. Like, not blaming, that sounds bad, not blaming Ingrid for, like, Gil's behavior, but being really upset with her for not standing up for herself, for not leaving, for saying the things she did about her kids, some of those yeah. letters about, was, like, not wanting her kids. I just, had to go back and see when she, when she was in college, because I'm like, is this the 20s? When is this? Like, yeah. because, and it was the yeah. 80s. Don't we have girlfriends that we, see do that where they give everything up for a man and then there's no way to rescue him out of it do you think she yeah. wanted Gil to find the letters and her family yeah, I think she wanted Gil yeah. to I do not I think do. she wanted her kids to because remember in that last oh, she letter said, she burn. said right. burn these I never want the girls yeah, to find them the did he see yeah. all the letters that, we don't that is the question <laughs> <laughs> did, did we see all the letters yeah. did you think oh. so? yeah. I thought so good question was this a love story <laughs> Terrible one. Well, <laughs> if you mean romantic <laughs> love, yeah, I don't a tragedy. Think it's a tragedy. Romantic love. Yeah. Tragedy. Yeah. It's a tragedy. Yeah. It's a tragedy. It's a family tragedy in yeah. every sense of the word. We are excited to partner up with our sponsor, University Bookstore, for our April Refined Read Book Club pick. This month, we're reading Edgar and Lucy by Victor Lodato. No if you haven't picked it up yet, now is the time. Happy reading. Okay.